Just within the last half hour, the World Health Organization has declared the outbreak a pandemic. Tonight, the confirmed global death toll from COVID just reached 1 million, a staggering figure, though the World Health Organization believes the real number may be even higher. Toll online learning is having on our kids' education is significant. A number of studies showing there are students who just aren't making the grade. Today, some Northern Virginia parents are protesting their school district's decision to start the year 100% online. Fairfax, Loudoun, and Prince William counties have already decided to keep kids out of the classroom come this fall. Um, I was absolutely crushed because I don't know, the first thing you think about when you come to high school is about my senior year. I wasn't too surprised, honestly. I think at that point everything was still getting canceled and the end wasn't in sight, so I, there wasn't really any surprise. Um, in all honesty, when I heard that my senior year was going to be online, I mean, we all kind of knew it was coming, but just that moment when we knew for sure that we weren't going to be able to be in person. I think that was really hard, especially for like all the athletes and people who do all the clubs at school, um, just not having that kind of uh, experience of getting to be together and work together on things. Um, upset, definitely disappointed. Um, I have to be honest, I was really holding out hope that we were going to go back. So I, I feel like at first I wasn't really accepting that we were fully online, um, but definitely disappointed. I feel like you work really hard for years like looking forward to your senior year and then it was like, oh, that's not happening. I was really upset about it because I was so excited for senior year and all the things that came with it, like the different traditions and just being able to see everyone as seniors. So it was really sad not being able to have that. When I learned my senior year was gonna be online, I was definitely disappointed, you know, because senior year is a big year for high schoolers. I was very excited for all the different activities we had planned, like going to basketball games and such, but unfortunately since it was online, you know, weren't able to do any of that. So I was definitely bummed about that. Uh, well, I feel like before the pandemic, I, I'm a very fast going person. I'm always really busy and it kind of forced me to settle down and like stay home. So I feel like before the pandemic, I was really excited to, you know, like, especially regarding college, like kind of go out and live by myself and I got really, really close with my family through the pandemic, and I, I feel like I fell more in love with Percival, and so it's definitely harder to leave and like accept the fact that I'm gonna be away from my family in a few months. Uh, definitely my perspective on things, especially my family. It made me reconnect with them more. I think I learned to be a lot more introverted and being okay with being introverted. Uh, it's all going to work out, like, yeah, you're going to miss a lot of stuff, but you're going to make new friends and even have a better relationship with your family. I think not to worry as much because I'm a very stressed person most of the time. So I think just being able to go with the flow and taking the changes as they come, um, just to be able to do that. Um, a piece of advice I would give my pre-pandemic self about what was to come is just kind of just not stress. There's so much uncertainty and every single day there's going to be something new. So just kind of take life as it comes to you and don't think too far ahead because it's going to change in the next week and everything's going to work out. <laughs> I would definitely say to take school more serious and definitely value the time you have with your friends because like we learned we didn't get to have a big junior year nor did we get to really have a senior year. So I would definitely tell myself to you know savor the time you have while you're young. Be proud of myself despite the circumstances. Um, and also to just live more in the moment and not, you know, be so upset by like the little things that don't really matter. 
I think the thing I miss most about in-person school was just all the little moments that you wouldn't know existed until you didn't have them anymore. Um, so just as simple things like walking down the hallway and getting to see my friends waving hi at them or my lunch table. I miss my lunch table so much. Um, just all those little things that I took for granted while we were in the school year. Um, once that was suddenly taken away from me, I really noticed it. I think the liveliness of it, um, I miss like learning with other people and like figuring things out with other people. I miss seeing everyone and all my friends or um, being able to see someone at lunch. Um, it's just something that you don't get with online school, so I really miss it. The people, the environment, all the activities. Um, it was a lot easier <laughs> and I got um, a lot more time to just be with myself. Um, definitely more free time. I got to do more things that I wanted to do. Um, I took up cooking because we had a longer lunch, so that's kind of exciting. Um, yeah, I guess just more time to do like the things that I, I enjoy doing outside of school. It's crazy. I still doesn't feel like it. I feel like I'm a little freshman. <laughs> Relieving, I think is the best way to describe it. I think, um, Every senior kind of, you know, had to accept that they got three years in normal high school and that's all they'll ever get. I'm glad it's over. I think maybe I'll regret feeling that in a couple years when you know when it's gone. But, you know, for now, I'm still feeling, you know, relief for it to be done. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I've even acknowledged it. It feels really anticlimactic to me. I feel like I'm not actually going to process that we're graduating until like I'm sitting there with in my cabin gown like with everybody else and be like oh my gosh like we're actually graduating oh it feels weird to be graduating in two weeks especially because i haven't been at school in like a year and a half but it, it feels good um it feels like a lot of hard work has been paying off and i'm really excited for what's ahead how does it feel to finally be graduating in two weeks dude it's crazy uh i definitely haven't i i it's like i was a freshman yesterday like it's definitely flown by, especially with the pandemic. So I feel good. I mean, I'm excited, but at the same time, you know, you wish you were a freshman and time flies. Uh, at first I was relieved because we didn't, there's still a lot of unknowns going on and we didn't know what was gonna be happening. But I ended up working from the school, like right at the beginning and actually it was, it was sad not having the kids there, but initial response was relieved. Um, I was actually pretty relieved um, just because at that point when we found out things were pretty tough, um, you know, we didn't have the vaccine and I was more concerned about, you know, everyone's health and safety. Um, I don't think we could have done teaching and learning the way we are currently doing it right now, way back then. So I was, I was pretty relieved. Not having the students like in the room with me was probably the hardest part. Um, yeah, I think that's really like my driving factor. My The whole reason why I became a teacher was really to work with the students. So just seeing the, the Google Meet icons was a, little, was a little challenging. The obvious is that, you know, you're not actually working with kids. You don't have kids in front of you. Um, with math, at least, it's this class, especially AP, it's important to be able to connect and talk with people. And I didn't have that ability to go around and check on each kid individually like I normally would during a, a school year. So the hardest part for me was just knowing that I wasn't getting the best out of kids that I knew that I could here. I always tell kids to do, find something that you love to do and then you'll never work a day in your life. You just gotta love what you do. I feel like, so I'm not great with my words, but something along the lines of trying things out even when you don't feel like you'd be able to or it's not for you. I know for sure I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't try like jobs that I didn't think I was capable of doing or pursuing interests that I didn't think I belonged like to that community. So yeah, just don't doubt yourself too much. Try, try new things. Somebody would 
you told me, babe Someday these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the band I was thinking about the fans We were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at Still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I'd become Couldn't wait to get older Couldn't wait to be some Now that I'm here Wishing I was still young Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought I felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of the good old days Never thought we'd get old Maybe we're still young Maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was Maybe these are the moments, maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future, thinking about the past While missing out on now, we've come so far I guess I'm proud At night, worried about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars, I've been around I felt some pain, I've seen some things, but I'm here now Those good old things You don't know oh, oh, oh. what you got oh, oh, oh. till it goes, oh, oh, oh. till it's gone. Someday soon your whole life's gonna change. You'll miss the magic of these good.
I grew a foot taller. <laughs> My biggest regret of high school was probably not going to as many football games and basketball games as I could have in freshman and sophomore year. And then I finally started going junior year and then you know, we all got sent home. But I really wish that I took advantage of that before. Um, maybe not, not getting involved like early on as a freshman. My biggest regret was uh, not making more friends. Like I know it was kind of hard to do that with COVID and all. But like, I wish I branched out even more. Like, I feel like I made a lot of friends, but I don't know a lot of my classmates that are graduating from this year. So, um, my biggest regret probably just not taking everything in. You know, what it is. Um, mostly just not paying attention as much my freshman year. I didn't focus as much as academics that year. The biggest regret of high school has definitely been like, you know, wishing part of it away. Uh, my biggest regret is not being part of the Loudon Valley throwing team. I think my biggest regret is not doing a sport or like a club because Valley has awesome sports here. Yeah. What's your biggest regret of high school? I'm um, not enjoying it more. I feel like I just was like, ah, oh, I can't wait till it ends. And now I'm like, ah, oh, I just wish it all away. So definitely not enjoying it more. Biggest regret, I think I wish I like reached out to more people because I didn't, I don't really know anybody. So I wanted to reach out more, probably follow more people on Instagram. But I'm gonna make an attempt the last hurrah at graduation, so we'll see. Um, probably not acting or dressing the way that I wish that I could. My biggest regret.